Welcome everyone, Mr. Knight here with you again. Today's lesson is on testing for carbon dioxide, which is testing for CO2. The types of tests that we're going to demonstrate here today include the flame test and the lime water test. Now let's go into the flame test first. For the flame test, you notice on the left of your screen, you notice there is a lit splint. And on the right of your screen, there is a source of carbon dioxide. Now, this source of carbon dioxide could be blowing, which includes exhaled air. Or you could simply connect a tube from a flask, which will contain a reaction that is producing a gas. Now, what you'll want to do is to allow the gas to pass over the flame for a period of time. If the flame is extinguished or put out, then you can conclude carbon dioxide is present in that gas. Because carbon dioxide will suppress burning or put out flame. Now, let's go into the lime water test. Now, at this point, I want to make it clear that lime water is not the same as lime juice. So this is not from lime. So lime water is calcium hydroxide, which is CaOH2. Lime water is a colorless liquid. I will demonstrate this in a, another lesson, how to make lime water in a lab or at home. Now, what you'll want to do is to set up a flask with the lime water and also insert a straw or a tube. Now, this tube will be connected to a source that is producing gas, or you could simply blow in this tube. Now, once the gas is passing through the lime water, over time, what you'll notice is that the lime water will become cloudy, or milky white. Now, if it becomes cloudy, then you can conclude that carbon dioxide is present in that gas. All right, and so just a little bit of additional information here. The chemical reaction for this test will be the calcium hydroxide, which is lime water and is aqueous. You'll react that with the carbon dioxide, which is a gas, and it will produce. Calcium carbonate, which is solid, and also water. Now, what forms that white solid is the calcium carbonate. And you can classify that as a precipitate. And of course, it will settle to the bottom of the flask over time. All right. And so here, I hope this really helps. And so at this point, I just want to say I really appreciate you watching this lesson. And I want to encourage you, be like proteins, stay positive. Until next time, stay safe.